in the interest of balance, I'm straight. <laughs> Man, this what it feels like to be a minority. <laughs> I might uh, come with you on the next march. You know what I mean? The other straight is in this room anyway. So, um, what have we got here then? You look very nice in the front, don't you? What's your name? Vic. Vic, nice to meet you, Vic. Um, Vic, do you want to pick a topic that we talk about? So you can choose from barbecues or childcare. <laughs> pornography, okay, let's do pornography. <laughs> Got a, got a young lad back there in a the blue t-shirt. It's going to be alright for you, mate. So, um, he's got mum and dad with you. I'm going to wipe that all the time with you, you know what I mean? So, uh, my favourite um, porn site is Pornhub, right? But because it's a bit old school, you meet people, you know like these new family people who treat it like naughty bands? You know like indie bands where you say like, I like, I like porn, they? They're like, no, 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 we're not using porn hub anymore. <laughs> no. We're using the triple X journal. <laughs> like, no, the, the algorithm's far better, no ads. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've had that conversation with loads of speakers about the stereophonics and the name. <laughs> and I don't give a shit about either of them either. So, yeah, I like porn hub. The reason I like porn hub, I like the grey haired guy who has sex in the back of his taxi. Who's seen that? <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a great video because at the beginning, I didn't know that it weren't real. I thought that London cats could have sex with girls if they were four pounds maybe short of a fair. <laughs> Amazing. And I think a lot of people thought that. Because about three months after that, three of my mates did the knowledge. <laughs> Supply and demand for mopeds and clipboards went through the roof. Didn't it? And then, we should have known, it was all new, wasn't it? I, I see the same girl in 10 different clips, and I'm like, you didn't have four pounds twenty for the fare last week, and now you're driving in the back of a limo. All right, you still got no knickers on, but you've got more money now. And, uh, and the reason, the, the flaws in that show, well, it's not a show, is it? It's basically, the, sh the flaw in those videos is, he's a London cab driver in the back cab. I've watched 50 of those videos, Never seen him in London once. He drives around the outskirts like a gated enclave in Brentwood. And weirdly, he gets a fare every time. There's real cabbies out there thinking, fucking hell, I ain't had a fare all day in Piccadilly. And he's getting girls in mini dresses at the flick of a switch at a set of traffic lights. It's the same sort of girl every time as well. It's a blonde girl in a mini dress and a big purple suitcase. And he goes, where to love? Can you take me to Heathrow, please, mate? And he's like, yeah, go on, jump in. So halfway to Heathrow, he looks back and he goes, Here, love, if you show me your boobs, you won't have to pay the fare. And then she starts really good acting. She's like, what? What? <laughs> show me my boobs? No. And she's like, how much is the fare? And she's like, oh, it'll be about 85 quid. She's like, well, it's up now. It's 85 yeah. quid, isn't it? And then the sucker punch comes. He'll look back and he'll say, have a look in the corner of this cab. And then she'll get the accident come out. She'll be like, squint the air. And then she'll say, what's that? And like, that's the CCTV. And she'll say, no. And then she goes next. No. You've got pictures of CCTV of my birds, you bastard. And he's like, yeah. And if you don't suck my dick, I'm going to put that on the internet. All right. Pause there. Spoiler alert, he fucks up, right? But, <laughs> halfway through it, he gets that camera down at the corner, right? And then you see it from a different angle. That camera is fucking massive, right? It's the size of a Jeremy Beaver camcorder. How did she not see it? And two, that camcorder is so old, you could not get footage from that on the internet if you was Mark fucking Zuckerberg. <laughs> if you could find a lead that you plugged into there and into a MacBook, it'd be 1,800 quid, right? <laughs> And the thing is, by the time you do that, it's cheaper to take it to Heathrow. Just do that, mate. Guys, <laughs> well, thanks for listening to me. You've been grabbing that.